In Monday's press review, we begin in Kenya with Daily Nation is this story. India's painful corona lessons. Catastrophe. India's healthcare system has struggled to cope with the huge surge with report of severe oxygen and medicine shortages and patient families pleading for help on social media. The country recorded 349,691 fresh cases and 2,767 dead in the last 24 hours, the biggest since the start of the pandemic. The standard right, the big weeks lining up for number two. With a clear list of presidential candidates emerging just a year to the polls, a group of second-tier politicians is angling for the coveted running mate position. In Nigeria, The Guardian says, Deadly Sunday as gunmen run amok in Kaduna, Rivers, Borono. Vanguard right, insecurity, doctor killed in Karuna Church, eight communities in Niger, Sark. Nigerian Tribune says, gunmen run riot in Kaduna, Rivers, Oyo. Attack church, kill medical doctor, abduct four, kill another seven in Kaduna. Daily Sun is these headlines, killing spree continues. Gunmen murder eight security men in Rivers, and presidency now defender of terrorists, bandit, alleges fire share. In South Africa, the star right, Sex Wale, Boweni is a suspect, and Sidibank community officials is accused of soliciting bribe. Daily News says, Secure Sanu PF going for Jugula. Analysts say, as party was G40, come at us. In Ghana, Business 24 right, Importers and Exporters Association warns against towing levy. Ghanaian Times says, alleged plot to overthrow government, two police, military officers, eight others charged. And finally, we end with Daily Guide. Cool plotters re-arrested, facing high treason. That's it for today. Stay safe. See you tomorrow.